I want to give all praises and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching this truth. So today we want to get into a lesson about uh, this, I guess you can call it up and coming star here in Babylon named B. Simone. And you probably don't know her by name, but you can kind of catch her on uh, Nick Cannon's uh, show called Wild and Out. I think she's a stand-up comedian. And she had a few things to say over social media for a while, so I'm going to play this clip and then come back with and cripplets. It's your boy AD, and we're back here at No Jumping News. Let's get right into it. Be Simone, I love you. I love you, Be Simone. You know I do. She caused some severe heat for the comments she made during a new interview with Nick Cannon, man. He can't have a nine to five. What? Why not? <laughs> you don't want him to have an honest I, job? I mean, he could be a, a hustling entrepreneur. So you I want him to be a, you want CEO status? Yes. B. Simone became a trending topic across Twitter because people were not happy with her comment. One person stated, Simone steady throwing salt on the wound, huh? SMH. I can't f with a man who working a nine to five. Sis, you was homeless before and doing the same shit. Humble yourself, please. Tory Lanez jumped in with his thoughts saying, I guess no one told my dog B. Simone that the world got a lot of people who work a nine to five that get more money than some of our favorite rappers and entertainers. B. Simone did clap back at her critics to clarify that there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five to job. Still, she prefers to date a hustling entrepreneur. Ain't that wrong with a nine to five? I get it. They work hard. I used to have a nine to five. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. You work hard. You have money. I get it. I need an entrepreneur. I need somebody that understands my mindset. Somebody that has the same lifestyle. It has nothing to do with money. Everything to do with lifestyle. Okay. When I'm in the bed at 3 a.m. checking emails, what you doing, babe? Working? What you doing? Working? Okay, love you. Mm, you wanna hop on a flight tomorrow? I have a meeting in uh, out of town. You wanna go? You got? You got okay, let's go. Okay, you understand my life. B Simone, I love B Simone. That's my dog. People are taking it out of context. It's just like dealing with somebody that's a rapper or entertainer. You're not gonna be able to mentally prepare for what they have to endure. So now you can see the guy, I guess he's just um, hosting this, this guy's show. Um, you know, he's, you know, he lost himself, you know, trying to sugarcoat everything, saying that uh, people took things out of context. Now, nah, we heard what she said. You know, it wasn't like it was a text message where you can't really fully understood, you know, what the person was saying. But we, under we understood what she was saying, you know, she's. You know, she's just being a nigga woman that's caught up in uh, Esau's uh, uh, dream here in Babylon, not knowing, you know, that Babylon is on its last leg, man. You know, like it's saying in the, in, in the book of uh, Daniel where uh, Babylon is, uh, she's about to be destroyed. Uh, you know, we're at the feet part, basically, is what I'm trying to get to. And you can see her, you know, she's being real irate because people was going in on her. I guess this uh, other guy named, uh, uh, this rapper named Tory Langs, he was going in on her too, uh, letting her know hey, there's it's people out here that has nine to five making more money than entertainers or, or who you, you know, or a hustler as she, as she want to call it. You know, and she's, you know, she's just, you know, thinking that, okay, she want a drug dealer, basically, you know, that's going to give her everything that she wants. And, and you can see, you know, hey, uh, she, she ain't no 10, you know what I mean? She ain't no 10, you know, guys, you know, hey, worldly guys just run through her, you know. You know, they come over, knock her off, and be gone by the time she wake up. That's the type of woman that you're looking at here on the screen, you know. And I think she has a um, a, 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 a tour of her doing stand-up. And I think the name of the stand-up is called Looking for a Man. <laughs> hey, who going to want to deal with a woman like this? It's impossible, man. 
you know, if she happened to get her a man, you know, he ain't going to last too long with her, man, you know. Even if he want to deal with her, she, you know, she's going to uh, screw herself out of the relationship because she don't know how to keep a man, you know. She talking about she up at 3 in the morning, a.m. or whatever, checking emails like, what are you doing? It ain't about money. It, it's about money. You know, you can see straight through this woman, man. You know, that's, that's the... That's the alternative of the so-called nigger woman, man. That's all she wanted, somebody to cater to her, you know. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, this is hey, for you new guys. Let's get some precepts. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, um, chapter 25 and verse 13. It said, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. And any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. See, as you can, you can see this. Hey, this woman is is definitely wicked as hell. And, and going back to what this one of the guy, one of the Twitter feeds, one of the guys uh, uh, was going in on her. He was saying that she was homeless at one point in time. You know, and and, and you can see she was mad about it. She going in, you know, uh, 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 pumping her chest up. You know. Saying that, you know, I had a nine to five, trying to make make light of the situation, but you know, she 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 knows she was gonna get some black backlash on that, man. You know? Ain't no way in the world you gonna talk like uh you 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 you're, you're over a man, you know. But the Heavenly Father did say he was gonna uh uh change the uh uh things upside down and then put the woman above the man, you know? And and that's what you're seeing right now. The book of Proverbs, chapter 9 and verse 13, says a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and she knoweth nothing. See? And you see it right now. Hey, these, these women, are, and, and as a whole, they all are clamorous, man. You know, they do a whole lot of talking. And like the scripture says, she knoweth nothing, man. You know, you can see this woman is clamorous as hell. You see her mouth as big as out on all our doors, man. You know, she, you know it's like a fly can fly up in it, man. It's as big as her mouth is, man. She, uh, she proud as hell, man. She, you can see this woman is very proud, man. You know, hey, but hey, that's that's the woman, man. That's the so called nigger woman, which is a, a an and the so called Latino and the Native uh, American woman, but you know. Just as well as uh, Judah is the head of the tribe, man. So is the nigger woman. She's the head of uh, of the tribe of the uh, uh, the rest of the uh, Israelite women. You know, she get the brunt of everything. You know, she's the main one. She's the main. Uh, uh, what you saw? Uh, 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 characteristic. She has that that characteristic of all the other. Uh, uh, tribes all in one, man. You know she's she's at the top, and and so she does the most. You know, she's the main corporate, as you want, as you can say, as as being all out wicked, man. You know, Proverbs chapter eleven, verse four, says, "Riches profit nothing in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death." See. You can hey, that's how it is, man. These women are crazy about riches, man. But not knowing, you know, it's it's a day and time that's coming, man. Hey, that all of the money that you got in the world. I looked her up on, uh, I guess it was Instagram, and I think she got about five million followers, you know. So, you know, I and, and these followers, man, just just mess everybody head up there because you got some followers, you know. It's Oh man, I'm I'm popular, but you know that, that means nothing, man. That, that means nothing, man. I in this kingdom it means something, but the heavenly Father said He gonna do make make America desolate, man, which is known as Babylon. You know she's gonna be a desolate place, meaning that it's gonna be like a desert. You're not gonna know what in is what, man. You know. You're not gonna know when Chicago uh, uh, begins, and you got not gonna know when uh, uh, the state of Tennessee or Memphis begin, man. You know, or ends, 
or you're not going to be able to find what New York and California is, man. It's going to be laid desolate, you know. Let's get this next precept. Let's stay in the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter 7, verse 10. It says, and behold, there met him a, a woman with a tire of an harlot and subtile of heart. She is loud and stubborn, her feet about not in her in her house. And, and, the, and, and the point is that, you know, she's loud and stubborn, you know. That's the, hey, that's the so-called black woman, man. She's loud and stubborn, man. That's the definition of her, man, you know. I know right now, I mean, you can go on her uh, Instagram page and you can see, man, uh, she, you know, these all of women get dressed up, man, and be halfway naked and showing everything, man. You know, all of these women had the spirit of a harlot, man. You know? So, let's go to this next precept. Um, uh, give me a second. All right, this is the uh, book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. It says, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Or let it be. So let it be. Uh, the reason why I went into that, that that scripture, man, because you're going to have some men out there just like this man was being the host of uh, of, of this, uh, I guess it's No Jumper News, which is ran by Edomite, man. You know, I guess this Edomite, him and uh, Dame Dash. Used to be over uh, Rockefeller, you know they got an issue, you know because I guess Dame Dash, uh, saying that they still in the culture, which they they stole every culture that we ever been a part of anyway, you know from rock to jazz, country, everything, man. Like the Heavenly Father said, man, uh, uh, Jacob is the form of all things, meaning he created everything. But anyway, back to the subject, you know you're gonna have some men. You know, that's going to worship this woman, man, you know, and, 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 and be under her foot, man. You know, I mean, who would want this woman to be over them, man? You know, after you get yours off, man, you're going to get tired of her mouth, man. Hey, I tell you, man, we, hey, I know before the Heavenly Father ends this thing, it's going to be rough for us, but you got to think of it, man, hey, after Heavenly Father comes, sends his son, man, we, hey, it's all us then, you know, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, you know, but, you know, hey, I just hope, man, you know, that, you know, I can wake up someone from uh, uh, this truth, man, all right, let's get us uh, uh, another precept, man, dealing with this, this is Second Timothy's, um, uh, Chapter 4 and verse 3, it says, For the time will come when they would not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. You know, see, you have some people, man, they, hey, they, they don't want to hear this truth, man, and, and thinking that this truth is 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 incorrect man but this is a this is correction right here man you you shouldn't want a woman like this you shouldn't want a woman to uh uh have a a a, a foothold over you or, or, or be above you man when the heavenly father said that the woman is under the uh, under the man you know it's an order thing man what the heavenly father says is is him then who you call uh Ignorantly called Jesus, which is Yahweh Shah, then this man, then woman, then the children, man, you know? See? This book of Jeremiah, chapter um, 31 and verse 22, it says, How long will ye, Salaki, how long will thou go about of backsliding daughters? For the Lord Yahweh has created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass the man. See, now see, since she got a, a, a few hundred thousand, maybe she got a few millions, you know, in the bank. Maybe she got a million or whatever. But that million ain't, ain't going to be worth nothing, man. Soon to come. So she thinks that, you know, because she got some uh, her first million or whatever, she's, you know, hey, 
she's where she want to be. And, you know, just as well as Esau, the, the so-called black woman, man, she she's pretty much in the same, had the same spirit of Esau, man, of saying, you know, she she uh, is uh, uh, tied into a, uh, uh, tangible things or things you can touch that's where the so-called black woman faith the israelite woman faith is man you know is dealing with you know things that she can touch you know you know this the uh uh, uh the so-called white man and the black woman are, are are intertwined together man you know it's like they still made that co- that covenant that covenant that they had made back in the book of genesis when when the serpent came to Eve telling her, you know, ran game on her, letting her uh, uh, think that, you know, that what he has to offer her is better than what the Heavenly Father told uh, 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 Adam, which told her. And you see the same thing that go on today right now, man. You can know that the, uh, 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 the serpent would tell Eve, to run game on her husband then nine times out of ten, he going to listen and believe it, you know. It's the Ecclesiasticus 26 and verse 25. It says, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shame face will fear the Lord. And you can see uh, this woman here is not one of the women that you would uh, uh, consider a, a shame faced woman that feared the Lord. You know, she's she's in her pride state right now here in Babylon. But like the scriptures say, man, pray for fewer days, man. Hey, because in the kingdom, we ain't going to have this, man. You know, so we can end this lesson right here. So I want to give all praises and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rekha, Kadash, Shalom.